Takakup is not different than any other First Nation. We're really feeling the effects of colonization, colonialism, and assimilation. The addictions and the uh, HIV infection and Hep C infections are uh, results of root issues. When the epidemic, when HIV and hepatitis C crisis come into our community, it was a, a shock to our community, our leadership, and and words, how do we? How do we deal with this, with this crisis in our community? So we have to educate ourselves, we have to educate leadership, we have to educate staff and our community. A lot are related to the social determinants of health and mental health, addictions, access to health care, and historical trauma. In Saskatchewan, we've had the highest rates of HIV and hepatitis C in Canada for the past 10 years. We still have the highest rates. As we started to see the issues and challenges related to access to care, transportation, there was uh, clearly a need to reevaluate how care is being provided. So rather than having 20 or 30 people from a rural area or First Nation community try to make it to a city who have all the challenges around transportation and poverty and access to care, it just made sense to have myself go to, to where the patients are. My daughter was a year old when I started using and I thought of it as an experiment and little did I know that it would just take me the one time to get addicted. A year into my addiction, I contracted hepatitis C. I didn't really know my parents were using until I was like about 11, until I first seen them stick a needle in each other's arm. And that's when I realized that my brother has nobody, so I have to step up and be there. I couldn't even be a child on my childhood. I never gave up on my mom, I never gave up hope on them. We sat down with the community and we developed an approach of trying to address Hep C and similarly bringing that treatment and care as close to home as possible. And so we really started to scale up Hep C treatment in community in about 2016. And the big impact with that was the advancement with the direct acting antivirals. The treatment is very simple and so let's bring that cure close to home and so the people who need it can access it. Our first liver health event was literally December 7th of 2016. We had our clients coming through and it was open to all community members, anybody who wanted to have their liver checked to take away the stigma of hepatitis C from the picture. Like Know Your Status, which is really, it's a partnership between community and health providers around care testing and treatment, which started with HIV, now has expanded into hepatitis C. And then taking it beyond, it's respecting the knowledge that's in the community and the people in the community knowing what needs to be done. I came here, got my blood work. They told me I contracted hepatitis C. I was told again by Skinner, there's help for that, there's treatment. I was like, wow, like there is uh, help there that I didn't know was there. I used to have a wall up, I didn't trust, I didn't trust people and it was hard for me to do this but when I got, as I came here to my visit I got to know them, talk to them and they're beautiful people, they just, they want to help and they're, I see them helping people well, every day. When I'd go see the nurses at the clinic, like uh, Tanis and Vanessa and Nori, they were very welcoming. I was so ashamed to talk about it even, but somehow they made me feel relaxed enough where I was able to answer personal questions and not avoid them. So it was a very comfortable, calming place to go. They helped in so many ways. My role as like a hep C nurse, other than the practical stuff, is you gotta build a relationship with that person. So connecting with them, visiting with them, making a big deal when they come in, either if it's for a snack or for needle exchange, just make them know that you know they're there. It's been amazing. They actually treated me with dignity and it felt good to be, you know, be a person to somebody rather than being discriminated. They're community members that I grew up with. 
and I just I felt comfortable around them, talking with them, and yeah, just taking that extra hand of help that I needed. They're the most interesting people to talk to. I love talking to them, and it's a humbleness and a humility within them too. Like, and then you see all the compassion and and passion. Like, they're 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 passionate about a lot of things. Everybody's traumas or past is different, and 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 everybody's unique strengths are are different too. We we build that uh, relationship with them. So a huge piece to the success of our clients and their journey to, to wellness or to accessing care and treatment has been the relationships that have been built. And that goes from first contact who might be one of the outreach workers such as Jody or Pat to um, making those connections with the nurses. There's that trusting relationship that we can pursue forward in their journey to health. Part of the key steps for Jody after she was actually tested positive for a POC test for the Hep C antibody, we had to monitor her liver and then do, of course, blood work to check on her liver how it was doing, and she was doing excellent. It was it was good, like really good. So she just ended up being on a 12-week program. In medicine, there's only a number of illnesses we can cure. And to see people's faces and reactions and expressions when you can say you're cured, you did it. <laughs> yes. I wanted to scream, I wanted to dance, you know, it was just, it was an amazing, uh, amazing time in my life. You're cleared, your uh, viral load is not detected. I sat there and I had to think about it because I never thought I would ever have it cured. See the impact it has on someone. It's just, it's fantastic. You may have not taught me how to be a daughter, but a young kid, but you're teaching me how to be a good woman. I never gave up on you, ever. Since being cured of hepatitis C, it's made a big, a big impact on my life. Realizing I'm not living there anymore, I'm living here. Hepatitis C cured, Jody. the I Know Your Status outreach worker, Jody. You know, and the kind and caring, loving Jody. yeah.